thing, and you, do you think we're heading into a, a difficult period in terms of inflation that yes. will hurt? Why, yeah. why, if it's transitory? Be, because it's not, I don't believe it's transitory. You don't That's what it. Rick said, I don't believe that. As why I not? said, because everybody's talking about paying people more money. The politicians are all saying, oh, you got a problem? You can't hire people? Biden says, pay them more money. We have a phenomenal shortage in labor in America today. One example, North Carolina. The state of North Carolina plays an unemployed person $400 a week, and they get $300 a week from the federal government. That's $700. In North Carolina, to qualify to get that money, all you have to do is to say you've gone someplace for an interview, not a job. Our textile company gets people to sign up for an interview with 60 people. 25 show up. The other 35, they've met their obligation to get the 700 bucks, and they get it. We are creating distortions. I have n um, God how bless much Rick. That, how much of that is transitory? Like, come yeah. the fall, when some of these We're not cut unemployment benefits pay. roll off, how many more people come back to the labor market versus structural oh, declines? Yeah. No, what I'm saying is not transitory. When you give somebody a raise, yeah, commodity prices go up and down. The price yeah. of milk, raw milk, goes up and down. But when you pay a truck driver a raise, you don't go back yeah, to him and sticky. say, oh, by the way, we gave you 17 or $22 an hour. We're going back now to the old rate. We don't do that. And a round number, about 65% of all corporate costs is labor. So when you're paying, you're not going to take that money back. The tragedy is the people you're trying to help are the ones who will get hurt the most with hyperinflation. All these things that are going on, one of the reasons, Joe, I agreed to come this morning was I am terribly concerned about triggering off a period of inflation like the late 70s. Who gets hit? The little guy. The, That's guy, right. the guy who's buying milk for four kids. The guy who, who, who eggs and butter and cheese and all these things. They go up in price. They don't come down. And who gets it doesn't hurt me one bit. So we spend a little bit more money for milk and we spend a little bit more money for meat. It doesn't impact me. I'm worried about the little guy right now. The little guy is the guy who's going to get it in the neck. This inflation is not, in my opinion, is not transitory. This inflation is basic and it will continue.